Alrighty, folks, we are back at her. As you can see from a couple videos back, you folks were mentioning with the uh, in the comments there about adding to the hood or the grill. I don't really like that look. I mean, it is a much easier way to do it, but if you ever look at the cars in production, they never, the grills never really came past the headlight. Like it just didn't work out. Uh, I like where the lights add. It looks right for the car. I don't know. But I got an idea that might work because, like I say, I, I've just, if you look at all cars, I've never seen one where uh, the grill goes like way past the headlight. Just doesn't have a nice look. From here, it just looks like you just, I don't know, it's just got a way wrong grill for it or something weird just happened in the front when you do that. But I'm thinking if I move the headlight back, maybe that would work and kind of be a happy medium to everything. I'm not 100% sure. What I'm gonna do is I'll unbolt this. I'm gonna move it back. We'll have a peek see, see how it looks. Maybe, uh, maybe that is an easier option, I don't know. <laughs> As you can see with the DeSoto, the original light was like here. So I don't know if the bulb would have been that far ahead or would it have gone back a bit? So that's my only thing is right now, cosmetically from the side, it has like this nice look to it. But it also, because the other light's not on, it does kind of from this angle almost look a little bug-eyed so I'm not sure because I think we've done that and we've laid the grill down a little bit so we got a couple things probably going on it but like I say let me try this we're gonna go let's move this back let's experiment see how that looks I don't plan to do anything with this right now like actually work on it what I do want to do in the video though is gonna be uh, the rear fenders and stuff like that I want to get the fenders uh, hammered out and uh, try to smooth all the fenders out, get the dents out, and then try to build uh, that steel tube that I'm talking about and maybe see if we can get this back panel made. That'd be really nice. All right, let's do a little bit of goofing around with the front just because we can and uh, see if that looks a little better. doesn't look too bad I'm not sure about the light we're gonna have to do some work with that we'll have to make a new perch because it basically the light's supposed to go here now it's like pointing out this way but I think that's a compromise I don't think it changes the look of the front of the car too much Like maybe we can do a compromise half and half, like we add a little bit to the hood. Cause I noticed when I put the light over into this hole, it, it was like a medium of the two, but there was still too much behind the hood. So I'm not sure if I can just add a little bit to the front of the hood to make up the difference. That's not going a crazy amount. I don't know. Let me pop this back up into here. We'll bring you in for the side profile. You can see what I mean. The light almost goes, it's, it's like a mid in between. I don't know. I know some folks will think I'm overthinking it, but it, it, it overall is what makes the car. So we don't want to overdo this and screw it up. <laughs> All right, I'll move that back and we'll have a look at it again. Well, that looks better like the headlight the grill I like better we've moved it back I don't know like an inch and a bit by the looks of it there which gets here so if we added just a little to the hood this all 
there's a certain look that seems right with these. <laughs> I don't know. I'm just messing with it. We'll see. I think that might be the way we'll go. And then we'll add maybe just an inch to the front of the hood. I'm not too worried about the chrome. That I think I can just make. I think we can make a new one. That's not a, that's not a big deal to me. Yeah, I don't know. Just brainstorming. I just think overall that looks like better. Uh, the other one, the light was almost too far back. And then actually, you know, I liked it before, but when I put the light in the original spot, it looks too bug eye. So, oh well. Anyways, that's another day's problem. Task at hand, like I said, uh, I'm going to pull the fenders off. I think we're going to run them through the English wheel. We're going to try to get all the dents and stuff out of them. Try to smooth them out. And, uh, yeah, we'll start to smooth it out first. And then we'll kind of figure out how we're going to do this back sill. I need both fenders to look kind of the same before we try to really do stuff here. <laughs> uh, might try to strip them down a bit just so they're a little smoother. Not rough to work on. But, uh, yeah, we got some cleaning up to do down there and, and stuff. I want to get the shape, and then we'll modify them to fit the rest of the car better after.
Well, that worked out pretty good. We just English wheeled that out. It's, it's nice. It's not perfect, but it's much, much better. I don't know if you remember how mangled this thing was, but let's see if I, maybe you need some light. But this thing's like just cherry. We gotta do this. We're gonna smashy smash these little bits here, tack them up, and then uh, we can kinda do our thing over here. Here too, gotta do some welding. We'll end up making patches, but for now I think I'm just gonna boog uh, the panels all in place. We gotta pull this one up, cause things aren't lining up, but I think from there we can go grab a, a pipe here and we can try to run along the side and see if we can make this thing uh, work out for us. So we zap these things together, but I am feeling it's um, like this side's it's garbage, but it's okay. <laughs> it's it's got the overall shape is pretty good. This side's got some like a lot of buggery going on. You can see how it goes here and then it goes down. I have this fender, but it's not really much better. The the corner part's okay, like the overall. Um, roundy bit of it seems right well no it looks pretty mangled there too not exactly sure like i think this is supposed to be curled more but it just like from this profile here it's definitely got a difference going on not that that matters we want to make a that pipe to fit through there anyways but man this thing's just goofy definitely got some problems this one when it you look at it it's a little better there but it, i don't even know if that's a good piece to start with to try <laughs> i guess i can beat this into shape there's a little left a little bit of a, a lip on the inside which we don't have on this one we can see we're missing it well maybe you can't hold on a second there's a little bit here but you can see how this is all missing i might try to straighten this out cut it off and kind of it's really rough. I don't know if I'm just gonna do it just to get this profile for now. Like if I have to redo it, I'm gonna redo it. But I basically want to get this set up similar to that side, so I can just get this part made. That's basically my goal here. I want want to get that piece made, then we can figure out, you know, the tin to go over this. But oh, I'm just tripping over everything here. All right. Well. I'm going to beat on this panel, try to straighten it out a little bit first. We're going to cut it. We'll zap it into here for now. Like we got to rebuild this and then this. So I don't know. There's a whole lot of, whole lot of stuff we got to do yet, but let's give it a shot. We'll see if we can make those at least even side to side and then we can start working on that pipe. I have actually found something outside and I don't know what this is. It does look like exhaust though, but it's pretty dang small. But it seems we could maybe use it. Nah, it's pretty small. I'm not sure what I'm doing here yet, but let's make both sides even and then then I'll, I'll scavenge, scavenge some more and see if I can find a piece of uh, pipe that we could use in there.
Well, it's working out pretty good. I mean, it's a little messed up. It looks messed up because this looks like it's got a bigger hump, but they're they're actually the same. There's just there's some differences, but I'm not too worried. That's the uh, inside of this panel. I just trimmed this back a little bit because when this comes, I'm gonna go like down further to the edge here. Uh, unfortunately, in my head, this thing's just gonna pack with garbage, so I don't know what I'm gonna do. Other than when I'm done, I guess I'll just pile drive a bunch of oil in there and it'll just be what it is. Uh, but we got this. This is actually, there's a lot more to this than I'm thinking. So I, uh, well, we're gonna have to reshape the fender right here, but that's not a big deal. And then I'll reshape the bottoms here to kind of match this. So that should be okay. Cause these will do whatever they gotta do. And then this thing has that body line that kind of follows the fender and I'm imagining it tapers out. I don't know. I still have that trunk out of the other car. So and it's late. So I think tomorrow I will uh, grab that and I'll see if I can slice that up and kind of use a bit of this edge and just taper it out. And then we can just, this should be just pretty much just a straight sheet here. Just glue it to the end, which is kind of perfect because where this sits, my bumper brackets are gonna be up here. So I can kind of come in through the top here. We can get the bumper out uh, that way, kind of dealio. This patch worked out really nice. I mean, we still gotta fix that, but at least this is, well, it's still like hot garbage, but it's nicer than it was. <laughs> we still gotta fully weld it, but I'm not too concerned because we'll have a lot of, uh, the fender's gonna need a lot of love yet, so we'll figure that out. But uh, yeah, till tomorrow, I'm gonna pick that out. We'll pull the fenders off. I'm gonna have to make this inside brace and whatever I have on my fenders, the outside, if they work, whatever they are is what it's gonna be and I'll make my fender match to it. That's kind of the plan. Because here we can, whatever, we can make this work. Uh, because all I know is from the, the trunk opening down, we are the same side to side, so. I don't know, as symmetrical as that is, that's, I guess, as good as we can get. I didn't do the old crisscross, but meh. Straight up and down should be fine. <laughs> the old eyeball, it just, it looks right from side to side, so I'm okay with that. I'm uh, spending the rest of the evening just trying to detail the old hot rod. We got her back up and going. Just was, I don't know, it was just like a bad head gasket, I guess. Found the little spot, there was something going on there, but... Anyways, we did that. This is like the cleanest it's been since I painted it. And uh, yeah, <laughs> kind of boring. I much more enjoy rather doing this stuff. That makes me laugh. I like doing that stuff. <laughs> uh, all right. I'll back to cleaning this up. I guess uh, by the time you see this, I'll have already probably been at World of Wheels, but uh, there might be something on the other page or a post somewhere or something would have been, would have been up letting you guys know I was out there. Anyways, I'm gonna continue cleaning for a little while. Well, I quickly cut that off because I figured that would work out well. Like, it should have some similar shapes and stuff. Eh. Nope. <laughs> so I did that. I pulled the fender. I was going to see what I can do, but the cars are so different in the back. Uh, I've kind of cut this. I've got to reshape this. I want this to look a little more like that side. But anyways, uh, it looks like we are just going to build something. That looks like the plan in action here. Uh, I think the only way to go about it is this has 
Well, technically it's kind of round. I think it's similar to that. So I'm just gonna round rod this thing. We're gonna beat that in there. We're gonna bring this down and somehow figure how to taper it here. Cause when it's done, I want this panel just to come here and then have nothing. Like it's just gonna just flow off. Kind of like the fenders, kind of that idea. Here you can see how it's different, right? So from my panel to here, we'll uh, like maybe I got that a little crooked, but we'll see how that goes. Maybe I'll just add like slice this, bring it down so it matches here. Cause if I go with this, you can see the, the gap I got going on there. Anyways, we're gonna go with that. Like I say, stick this in here. We're gonna flow this edge. Then we can build a new lip and uh, like plate this with a nut or something. Cause you can see how this fender, like it bolts into here. And I think it bolts here and bolts on the bottom. So we'll have to kind of mirror that, but I need to figure this thing out. I'll probably make it to follow the fender. I'll go down here and then we'll just kind of do the old grind blend because this doesn't step to anything. So when it's said and done, it'll uh, the sheet metal is just going to flow to the end of this round rod. I don't know. That just seems the easiest way I can think of to make this work. So that's how we're going to do her. This side too, there's, there's nothing inside here. Yeah can't really see it but we'll have to build a plate this side had the inner somebody added some chunks in here and they're not really there's nothing where it's supposed to be so we're gonna uh, figure all that out anyways I unbolted that fender for nothing we're gonna put her back on and uh, let's just graft some stuff together here
Well, I'm pretty happy with how this is turning out. These sides are looking okay. So the idea is this is gonna overlap the fender till somewhere here, then it'll end up being a butt finish. Similar here. We'll reshape the fender to kind of match up, but here we got, whatever we gotta do. We gotta weld this, I want the fender to tuck, and then here we'll reshape the fender, but it's gonna work. And then uh, we'll just do the slice and weld there, but we got to, uh, now that I took that inner structure out, we can actually get my punishing hammer in here and we can kind of hammer these out smoother, get this stuff sorted out over here. A few things. I think this is like a random bullet hole or something. But get that all smoothed out. That should bring, hopefully this, because we were kind of pushing and pulling, trying to get this shape out because it was kind of dented in. Still kind of is, like it just needs to come out a little bit. So, but for the most part, once we do the cut and butt, the back is going to be great. So once that's done, we got the shape coming around here. Then we can kind of just hammer form this edge around the, uh, the bottom side. And then we can kind of zap it along. So that'll give the car just this here. And then this will just kind of just disappear under the car like the fenders. I like it. I mean, it would be cool to weld the fenders onto the car. I'm mixed on that because that usually always equals a crack somewhere. So yeah, I don't know. If it might still happen yet, because I don't know, maybe if it gets a solid bead, it'll be fine. I don't know. <laughs> My Buick, I welded the fenders on, but there ended up still being like a small little stress crack that happens in there. So I don't know if I did it on my Pontiac, if I bolted it or welded them on. But anyways, yeah, I don't know. I'm pretty happy the way this is coming out. I dig it. Anyways, uh, gonna get back at her here.
Overall, it's not looking too bad. We gotta do some more work on the bottom, although I think it's low, you're never gonna really notice, but like this side looks okay. We gotta do a little like fine tuning there. This side's a little screwy, so I still gotta do some work down here. But overall, it's got the, the roll that I'm looking for. This is coming nice. This is not bad. This needs some more hammer work. We're slowly getting there. Same up here, like we did it with the machine, but we gotta do a little more. I had to grind the backside because I guess the welds through there. Uh, the hammer can't get a nice spot, but the rest of it's not bad. Like it's kind of acceptable. Here, like I say, we gotta sink this in a little more, weld this up. But overall, it's got the look. Look at that. Nice, comes over. I don't know, I think in the bumper bracket it's gonna be like up here somewhere, but I think it kind of has the feel. See, this one's kind of got a little bit of a sunken thing to it, but we'll have to, when this comes here, we'll pull it up to get this to follow and then kind of just transition into that piece. I don't know, I don't know what it's supposed to look like, so I'm gonna imagine this is okay. <laughs> I don't know. I don't really know what's supposed to be back here. So this is what it's getting. I dig it. Well, I don't know how much further I'm gonna get. I have to get my junk ready for uh, World of Wheels there. So I'm, uh, well, we're just about done, but we're gonna have to get her loaded up and kind of ready to go. But either way, I, uh, I think this is where I'm gonna leave it. Wasn't too exciting, but we kind of got this roughed in. It's gonna all need to be welded up like nicey nice, but and we still got to tackle the whole, this whole inside stuff. There's uh, nothing to attach anything to in there yet. So we'll have to do that. Ooh, folks that have mentioned like the fuel tank. Yeah, I'm gonna probably be putting a skid or something. I mean, the tank is way up, even aired out flat on the ground. The tank won't hit like all the rest of the sheet metal is gonna get destroyed before my bumper will, but uh, Although I do do a lot of dirt roads, it's probably going to get a steel shield on the front and kind of just hanging under it just to protect it a little bit. I do know about the thing where when we bolt it up, it's going to get like a rubber flap in there just so it doesn't uh, rot away in contact with the steel there. Anywho, and we still got to do like all the welding and gusset tree underneath here. We haven't touched any of that. Like all, none of this or down here hasn't been welded. And yeah, there's still, we got a long way to go, but we're slowly getting there. And at least now it's got a tail pan on it, so that's kind of a win. I think the next round we'll get these insides all done. We're going to cut these out. We'll test fit, get the back bumper on there. I think that's like a must. We kind of have to get that out of the way. Anyways, I think this is where I'm going to leave this one. So, I want to thank you folks for watching. And, uh... We will catch you on the next one. Later.